When filling an open-mouthed cylinder with liquid nitrogen, the steps are generally to connect your source, ensure the vapors that build up during filling can vent out of your container, and open the valve until full. Begin by inserting your transfer line into your container. Vapor builds up within all doers you fill. But the problem is that the same space inside gets filled with liquid, so make sure you create a way for the vapors to escape. In an open mouth doer, vapors can escape around the mouth. In a closed mouth doer, you'll need to turn the pressure relief vent to release the pressure. Once you insert the transfer line, you're ready to open the valve. Turn slowly a quarter at a time. If you turn it all the way open, the pressure will be too great. You'll hear a whistling sound and see gas vapors escape. As it fills with liquid, the pitch lowers. Wait for the cold gas vapors to smooth out from chugging. Attaching a phase separator at the beginning helps keep the gas or liquid from short bursts. It will take a long time for the gas to smoothly disperse before the liquid starts to fill. Notice that ice buildup will occur on the connections. This is normal and an important reason why you should be wearing cryogenic gloves. Keep your hand on the valve while it's filling. This will help control the flow. If it overflows suddenly, you'll be in the best position to turn it off. Never look directly down into the small doer as the gas shoots up into the air and can cause asphyxiation. Try to position the opening away from you so that you can have a visual of the liquid as it comes out. In an open mouth cylinder, you'll know when the container is full once the vapor becomes dense and starts spreading on the ground. You'll also know it's full when you see splashes. These splashes look like little droplets. This is why you wear face shields and safety glasses to protect your eyes and solid shoes because the cold liquid and vapors will splash onto your feet. And this is also why you need a well-ventilated space, because the vapors expand at a quicker rate than the size of the liquid. When filling larger cylinders, use a wooden measuring stick, dip it into the doer, and use it as a dipstick to determine the levels. Slowly close a valve when the liquid reaches its levels. Wait until all liquid has exited before removing the transfer hose. Make sure not to swing or bang the line onto the cylinder or floor. The transfer hose will continue to exude gas until it's bled out. In an open mouth container, you can see the liquid nitrogen react or bubble. Leave it in place until the container cools and the vapors subside. This is the reaction from the liquid rapidly cooling the warmer cylinder, often at room temperature. Soon as you can, put a cap on your small doer. Make sure to use a loose cap with vents designed for pressure release. Do not use a rubber cork or anything solid that will pressurize the doer inside. In a closed container, the liquid will start to come out through the vent. So shut the vent off at the source, then close the valve on your doer, from there, close the vent valve. Once your container is secured, work on disconnecting from the source. 